so let's start with how we set up a k-map for a fourth variable expression. So you can see here that I have my expression and truth table, and I've started to lay out the k-map. So I started with not a b, not c d in the corner. So as I move both across and down, I can only change one term. So as you see here, as I move from not c d, I'm going to leave not c the same and only change d. So now when I move again, I can only change one term. So I need to keep D the same, and I change not C to C. And that changes my last term to C not D. So I do the same thing going down. And I can only change one term every time I move. So I have not A, B. Now I'm going to keep B the same and change A. So that'll be B not A changes to A, right? And then we have A not b. Now one of the important things to do is to check and to be sure as I move from the last to the first, only one term changes. Okay, so now let's look at how we fill in the truth table. So for instance, I begin to put ones and the first term I marked is actually the third term in my expression there. It's not a, not b, not c, d, right? Because that's a equals zero, b equals zero, c equals zero, and d equals one. So I put a one for y. Now I'm gonna mark that off since I didn't do them in order. And now I'll put a zero for not a, not b, not c, not d, because we don't have that term. But now I'm gonna find not a, b, not c, d. So that'll be a equals zero, b equals one, C equals zero, D equals one. And we're gonna go through and place a one in the output column for every expression, every term from my expression. Once I've entered all the ones, I can go back in and um, enter zeros in all the rest of the places in the truth table. And then I'll have my truth table complete. So now I'm gonna mark A, B, not C, D. And now I need to mark um, the last two terms. So I have A, B, not C, not D. And finally, I have A, B, C, D. So once I have all those entered, I check to be sure I had six ones, and then I go back in and fill in all of my zeros. And once I've done that, I have my truth table complete. Okay, so now we need to enter the ones into the K-map. And so to do this, we're gonna go from our truth table to our K-map. So I read across and find the right line, and then I enter the cell. So now for the second one, that would be not A, B, not C, D, that I wanna enter a one in. And now that I've entered that one, I'm gonna move on to the next um, area where I'd like to enter a one. And so I'll go down to A, not B, not C, D, and enter a one there. So I'm gonna proceed all the way through doing this until I have all the ones entered in my K-map. Okay, so now we're gonna create groupings in our K-map. Um, and so we're looking for ones in groups of twos or in pairs. So there with the blue pen, I'm circling the largest group of ones I can find, which is a group of four, all right? And so now I wanna look at what that term will be. And so if I look as I moved down A, B, right? A changed and B changed. So that means those terms aren't important, we're gonna get rid of them. So that means that the term I get from that group of four is not C, D, okay? So now I have a group of three, but I can't make groups of threes. I can make groups of twos, fours, eight, 16. So that green pair now, I have to look and see. So as I move across there, 
not C stays the same, but D changes. So I've got to keep not C and throw away D, and I'm also going to keep AB. Now the I'm going to group the other one in a pair, okay, because I don't want to leave it by itself when I can simplify it. So I'm going to look and see what terms. So as I move there, C changed, so I'm going to keep the D, and I still have AB, so those are my terms. Now I can write the final form all together um, to have the simplified equation. And so our simplified equation is Y equals not C, D, and A, I'm sorry, or A and B and not C, or A and B and D. And that's our final answer. So I hope this has been helpful to you um, and that you can um, find some usefulness for this. So again, if you wanted to check your work, you could remember to compare those results to your other truth table. All right. Hope you had a great day and this was helpful. Thanks.